Hi everybody, this is Derek at the Victory Branch Library and welcome back to our Coder Dojo, uh, our summer series on computer coding or learning how to do some computer coding. We are in week four and um, we have quite a bit to cover so I'm going to go ahead and just get right to it. Um, this week's project will be another game. We're going to build another game in Scratch and it's called Sky Fishing and um, while we're doing this project, we're going to learn about um, functions, which are another uh, coding fundamental. So um, let's go ahead and hop over to the Scratch website to log into our accounts there at scratch.mit.edu. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and sign in up there in the corner okay and um, this week we don't have to download any graphics or anything and we can just go um, straight into create up here to get into the uh, develop development environment to do our project Okay, and so right now we have um, Scratchy, um, the cat, uh, for our uh, default sprite, and we can go ahead and use Scratchy. We're going to, uh, before we actually do the project, we're going to do a, a little example of how uh, a function works, or how we create a function. So we can go ahead and um, move Scratchy over here into the corner, and um, we're going to have him um, do a little walking in, in the function that we're going to create. Okay, so what we're going to want to do um, is go over here to the code tab and go down to the My Blocks button. Okay, and right now there are no uh, pre made blocks of code like we normally see, all right? Um, but there is a button up here for Make a Block. So go ahead and click on that. And you're going to see a couple different options here on this window. Um, but we're going to want to just stick with the one up here on top and it's uh, an empty block and it, um, we're going to type in a block name. So for this example, for this function we're creating, we're going to have him um, um, do some walking. So let's just go ahead and type in walking and that kind of helps us remember what the function is. Okay, And then you can go ahead and click OK. So let's talk about functions for a minute. What is a function? So um, basically, a function is a a package of of code um, that you can pull out and use in your your bigger program. So um, right now we're looking at um, a new function um, called walking, and right now it's just a block. There's there's nothing going on, right? So we need to to put some code in here um, to help our function. Um, uh, do what it needs to do. So um, for this one we're going to go ahead and have Scratchy do some walking. So we're going to go over to the motion button and we're going to choose a move block. Okay and then we're going to go over to the control button and we're going to get a loop out of there. Repeat loop. And let's see um, we're gonna have a little animation going um, with Scratchy um, since he's gonna be walking. So go over to the looks button over here, and we're gonna choose the block next costume. So there's the box we need, and what we're gonna do here is um, put these together. And um, be before before that, let's go ahead and um, talk about the next costume real quick. Now, if you go up here to the the tabs, go over to costumes. Just to remind you, um, each sprite, well, a lot of times the sprites will have different costumes or um, uh, graphics of the, of the same sprite. Like here, Scratchy has a costume one and costume two, and it looks like he's, he's walking if you, if you um, go back and forth between the different costumes. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and go back over to the code tab and go ahead and, and click on the next costume block real quick here. 
just click on it and look at Scratchy over there on the stage. Do you see how he his legs? Um, it looks like he's he's moving a little bit there, right? Okay, and his, the sprite is going from the first costume to the second costume, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so let's go ahead and put all this together. I'm gonna put the repeat loop, and then move 10 steps and then we're gonna put next costume alright so now go ahead and click on the the, uh, the block of code and you should have seen scratchy move click again and again okay so that's pretty cool um, and now we have um, our function our walking function um, created here this little package of code. So let's go ahead and go and create our main program and um, we're gonna go over here to get a, a when green flag clicked event block and then um, what we're gonna do here is um, I'm going to show you why the, a function is more efficient than just doing um, all this code over and over again. So um, Scratchy's going to walk across the stage here, and he's going to give us some. He's going to talk to us um, while he's he's in between um, his steps on his walk. So um, for that, we're going to go over here to looks, and we're going to um, grab a say hello for two seconds block and put it there. So if you click on that, or click on the green flag, you should see him um, on with the little word bubble there on the stage. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and type a new message in here so um, we can kind of get an idea of, of what's happening here when we run our program. I'm going to type, hi, I'm going for a walk. Okay, and then you can click on that either on the blocks of code or the green flag and you should should see whatever your new message is hi I'm going for a walk okay so now this is where it gets a little more interesting um, now go over here to the the buttons and click on the my blocks button there to get over to our walking function so what we're gonna do is click on the walking function and drag it right over here and drop it there okay so now when we click, click the green flag, Scratchy's going to give us his message and then he's going to walk a little bit. Okay. Now let's go ahead and go back over to the looks and then he's going to stop and he's going to say something else to us. So go ahead and grab another say hello for two seconds block. Put it there. And you can click right there in the field for the second um, say hello block and put a, another message. Uh, and you can put whatever you want. I'm going to write something about how he's going to keep walking. Hmm. I'll go further. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and grab another walking function there and put it there, okay? So now go ahead and cl click the green flag and we should get um, his message. He's going to walk, second message, and he's going to walk some more, okay? Okay. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so, <coughs> this is a a pretty basic example. It's, it's not too, um, not too robust. Pretty simple, but um, in this example, instead of using um, these three blocks of code over and over again as he's going on his walk, um, we're just using the the walk um, the function block instead and dropping that in as we need. Okay. So again, if you click on the green flag, he's going to give us his message. He's going to do those three blocks of code, another message, and so on. Okay, so there's just a little example, and now let's go into our, our actual project today, okay? Um, if you want to keep this example just to refer to, um, I'd recommend, I'm going to disappear off the screen here for a minute, 
you, I'd recommend, um, let's see here. Sorry about that, I'm clicking on the wrong thing here. I'd recommend um, giving your example here of a function a name. Name that file up there in the box, hit enter, and then you've got it saved on your account. Okay. All right, and then from here we can go ahead and click on File on the main menu and New, and the old project is going to go away, and then we have a new one here. Okay, so for um, the, the uh, fishing from the sky project we're going to do here, um, we're going to go ahead and we can keep Scratchy for this project. And I better come back up there. I disappeared. For, okay, so we're going to go ahead and for this, this game we're creating, we're going to go ahead and create a, uh, get a backdrop to make things look a little bit more interesting. So go ahead and do that. And if you didn't see, I went down to the lower right corner. Um, down here, there's the choose a sprite, and that right next to it, we have um, the other um, choose a backdrop here. So that's how I got to that. And this is the backdrop library. So you can choose any backdrop you want. Um, I'd say pick something that's outside. Uh, I'm going to choose this hay field. Okay, cause, because again, um, we're going to have some things falling from the sky. Um, Scratchy can just go somewhere down here on the field. Uh, he's actually going to be moving back and forth in, in our game here eventually. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm going to scoot back over here my code um, buttons are off the screen. There we go. So let's go ahead and let's get things started off the right way with uh, wind green flag clicked events button there so when we click the flag over here above the stage that will start our program and everything else that comes after there with the code um, so just like in our example um, a minute ago with with scratchy and the function the walking function um, we're gonna go ahead and have scratchy talk a little bit to us here as the game starts so let's go ahead and um, go over to the looks button and say hello Block, and we're gonna put that on there. And uh, I'm gonna type in something on here, just a little greeting. Hi, I'm Scratchy. Okay, and you can click on the green flag, and you should see his message there on the stage. Okay. All right, so let me go ahead and ma make a couple more statements here, or give him a couple more statements, kind of leading us into the premise of the game. I'm hungry. Okay, and let's add a little bit more to the story here. Oops, just another say block. And Scratchy's going to say something about how um, it's going to be raining fish today. And that's kind of how our, our game, that's what our game is about, right? The weatherman says it's going to start raining fish soon. And then the last part of the story is going to be Scratchy's um, going to ask you for some help so he can catch those fish as they're falling from the sky. Okay. Help me catch some fish. For 
lunch. Yeah. Yeah, I just noticed a typo up here. Under the weatherman message. So we'll go ahead and fix that. Okay, and let's go ahead and click the green flag. Hi, I'm Scratchy. I'm hungry. The weatherman says it's going to start raining fish soon. Help me catch some fish for lunch. Okay. So um, those messages went by pretty quick, so I'm going to just type in the other part of the block there and give it a little bit more time, maybe three seconds or so. And you can do whatever you want on that. You can leave it or you can change the time on there. And the, the seconds just tells you how long that message stays up on the screen. Okay. Okay, so now let's um, let's go ahead and we've got Scratchy's message there, and now let's go ahead and um, code Scratchy so he can uh, move back and forth on the screen for the game. All right. So to do that, we're gonna um, go over and uh, do some code from the motion button. And actually, let's go ahead and, and before that, let's go ahead and go over to the events button and we're going to um, grab a win um, space key press block of code and drop, drag and drop that over. Now, um, right now it says space here in the field, but you're going to want to actually click on that and choose um, one of these other options. And these are all uh, referring to um, the keys in your, your keyboard, the up arrow key on your keyboard, down arrow, and so on. So Scratchy is just going to be going back and forth horizontally from left to right. So let's go ahead and, and grab, um, let's choose right arrow from the, the drop down menu there. So when the right arrow key is pressed, something's going to happen. Okay, so if you'll remember back, um, we talked about the um, imaginary. Um, X and Y axis that um, is always um, in our program. It's even though you can't see it, um, Scratch knows what it is and and um, what you're referring to when you're um, talking about the X and Y axis, um, which um, in a nutshell just refers to the position that your sprite is on the stage or, or where the sprite is on the stage. So. Let's go ahead and go over here to the motion button. And with the X and Y axis in mind, we're going to go ahead and um, choose a change X by block of code. And this is the one, if you click on it, um, you'll see Scratchy is moving um, across. Um, from left to right, and that refers to um, he's moving along the x-axis. All right, so let's go ahead and put that on the right arrow, and then go ahead and, and um, click your uh, right arrow on your your keyboard. And you should get um, scratchy moving there. Okay. Now, if we keep hitting um, the key, key eventually Scratchy is going to go off the stage, right? We don't really want that. So there's a cool block on here um, under motion, the motion button. If on edge, bounce. So let's go ahead and we're going to drop that on there, and then go ahead and try your your key again, your your right arrow key. And when he hits the edge, look what happens. He he's he's still there. I can still see him, but he, he didn't disappear. He's just kind of stuck there, okay? So that's working for us now. Um, he's hitting the edge, and then he's bouncing, and he's going to come back the other way. But he's, he's upside down, so let's go ahead and fix that real quick. And um, to get him to, to go... Um, right side up, unless you're going for the upside down look. Um, we're going to want to go up and, and uh, find the orientation 
um, block, which is also in here in the motion button. Um, and we're going to choose set rotation style. Okay, and we're actually going to put this block up here under um, the the blocks that uh, initially start the program with the green flag. So set rotation style on um, left to right just means that he's going to um, and he's going back and forth horizontally. He'll be pointing in the, the correct direction, or what looks like the correct direction. So if we try that now, um, let's go ahead and click the right arrow on your keyboard. Okay. So he's now he's just upside down the whole time. So let's see what's going on here. Check the code here. And I'm going to check the code up here. And don't rotate it all around or the other options. And yeah, left to right is where we want to keep it here. So let's go ahead and leave Scratchy alone for now. And uh, we'll come back to that. Um, I'm not sure what the bug is on there, but um, we'll figure it out. So let's go ahead and grab another um, event block like we did for the other one, the space key press block of code um, for the other arrow, the, le the left arrow. So, so Scratchy will be able to go uh, left and right across the stage as things are falling from the sky. It's going to be the, the same. Um, code as before. If on edge bounce, change X by. Okay, and um, this time we're going to choose left arrow instead of right arrow. Okay, and you can go ahead and try to test that out on your. Um, on your screen there with your keys. So Scratchy's doing his message. I hit the green arrow up here to start it, so it's going through the whole thing. He's doing his message. And then we can go ahead and start hitting those keys, okay? Alright. Alright, so I'm hitting the left and right arrow keys and there's um things aren't quite going the way they're supposed to. Let's take a look at our code. So on the left arrow block um, we have change x by 10 down here. Now if you remember on the xy axis um, when you're going to the, the right along the, the axis here um, that's going to be um, plus and if you're going to the left that's going to be minus. So let's go ahead and change um, this one down here to minus 10 instead, all right? And then go ahead and, and try that left arrow again on your keyboard. Okay. Okay, so look at that. Uh, that kind of helped things out there. Um, I'm hitting the right arrow key and, and Scratchy's going to the right like he's supposed to. Okay, and once he hit the edge, check this out, he, he bounced, right, and he turned around and now he's facing to the left. He's facing the right direction. So that rotation style seems to be working now. Okay, and you see he needs to actually hit the edge for that for everything to to run correctly. Right? There's my left arrow key. You can tap, 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 or hold down on it. Bounce. Right arrow key. Bounce, and so on. Okay, so. Scratchy's ready to catch some fish here. We've got him coded to, to move back and forth on the stage. And let's go ahead and um, we need to choose a fish sprite. So we're going to go over here and head on over to choose a sprite on the right lower right corner there. And on the main menu here, we're going to go to the animals um, section. Okay. And then 
go ahead and look for uh, some kind of sea life. Um, there's the crab there. There's a fish. There's a fish in a bowl. There's a jellyfish. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm just going to go with the, the good old tried and true regular fish there. Okay, and the, if you click on that, that should bring you your fish right onto the stage. And then down here, you'll notice there's also a fish sprite. Now, if you want your fish to, to be a different size, you can go ahead and down here, there's a size um, field, and you, you can um, type in a different number there. I'm going to make my fish a little bit smaller, so I type in 75. It, it's up to you. Your preference on that. Okay, so we have our fish, and make sure that um, down here that your your fish sprite is um, you, you have it selected here, and there's the the blue uh, outline around the, the fish sprite. Okay, and you'll see on the stage how how the fish is there's something kind of glowing around there. That's showing you that your your sprite is selected, and that's what we want because um, we're gonna we're gonna put the code over here, and then it's gonna be attached to that that object okay that sprite okay so let's go ahead and get some coding for this fish so first off um, we're gonna want to go back over to the events and get a win green flag clicked event block there and um, at the beginning of the game, we don't want the fish to just be floating here in the sky. We actually want the fish to be hidden and then appear and, and drop from the sky just out of nowhere, right? So what we're going to do for that is go over here. It's pretty simple. Go over here to the Looks button and look for um, the block Hide. Okay? And then you can go ahead and try that. Go ahead and click on the green arrow. Okay? And you'll see there, go ahead and hit Stop green arrow again oops and stop so the fish is is gone for the moment um, which is what we want um, the program starts and I'm gonna click on scratchy and all this code for scratchy runs right um, but over here the fish disappears as soon as we, we click that green um, arrow okay the, the go button so let's keep going here and um, we're going to go ahead and, and go back and um, do the receive broadcast um, blocks of code, which we did um, one of the other projects. So um, if you haven't done that before, basically uh, there are some blocks in here that help the sprites um, talk to each other, if you will, and, and, and trigger one another's code through, through broadcast and, and receive code blocks. So, Let's go ahead and I'll show you how those work. If you remember, then that's also great. So go over to the events um, button, and we're going to go ahead and choose when I receive, and it shows message one right now. Um, and so basically, uh, we're putting this on the fish sprite because the fish is going to receive a, um, a message to, um, when he needs to show back up here. So click on the, the field there on that block and choose new message from the drop down menu. Okay. Now in the new for the new message name you, you can type whatever you want into it, um, any name you want, but I would recommend just type something that'll help you remember um, what what the message is about or what, what its purpose is. Um, I'm gonna type for mine, I'm gonna type the sky is falling. And you should see that now um, in your your field, and your and you have that selected. Whatever your uh, your um, message is going to be there. Okay. Now um, the the broadcast part of this the the, the broadcast is like when you uh, watch TV or listen to the radio you you hear something being put out right and, and that's a message so we're gonna click on on scratchy down here the scratchy sprite and go back to his code and we're actually um, gonna put a little uh, more code on on this um, 
scratchy sprite here um, up here if we scroll up a bit um, to, to this section we're going to attach it to this um, group of code here so go ahead and we're still on events and then we're going to um, click on broadcast all right we're going to put that block right down there on the bottom and if you notice in the box here, um, it should you want it to be selected on the sky is falling. That should already be automatically populated in there. So what's going to happen here is when we start the program and we click the green flag, um, Scratchy is going to give us all these messages in the purple, and then there's going to be a broadcast. The sky is falling. A message to that fish to come out. Now it's not something that we're going to read or hear on the stage. It's something that's going to happen internally. Okay. So let's go ahead and click the green flag and um, let's see what happens. Okay, Scratchy's doing his, his talking, his messages. And then that internal message, this guy is falling, is going to go out. And no fish. Where's the fish? Let's go ahead and click stop. And go down here and let's click on the fish sprite. I think I forgot to do something on the fish sprite here. Um, basically, what we want to do is go to the looks button there. And this time, we're going to um, look for the show block. Okay, and we're going to put show there. So after that uh, message from Scratchy, that internal message goes out, the fish is going to, to show. So let's go ahead and click on the flag and try it again. Okay. Giving his message, no fish yet. And then, ta-da, there's the fish. He showed up, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click stop there. So when the program started, I'm looking at the fishes the code here when the green flag was clicked the fish hid okay and then when scratchy did his internal message um, then the fish um, appeared or showed okay all right so we got a little bit of interactivity going here and now we're going to get into our, our function which is kind of the, the whole point of this this project this week is to get a, a function working here in our game so our function is going to um, happen here by going over to the code tab and going down to my blocks okay and then we're going to um, choose the make a block button there and we're going to create our function so again just like the, in our example earlier we're going to just use the, the blank block up there on top and we're going to type in a name for our function and again, type something that helps you remember what the the, the function does. So I'm going to type um, fall from sky on mine, okay? And you can just hit enter when you have your, your name typed in there for your function, and then click OK. Okay, so let's see here. Let's get things around. <clears throat> now make sure that your your fish sprite uh, make sure that it's selected down here in the bottom and it's highlighted in the blue right to make sure the codes going to to the fish okay so now we have um, I'm gonna scoot things around here a bit all right so we have our, our code um, our function block there but but no nothing happening there no no uh, package of, of code in it yet so let's go ahead and do that next now um, what we want to happen here I don't know if you remember when we looked at the example um, of the game and I, I don't think we actually did look at it at the example of the game but basically there's going to be um, the fish is going to be randomly falling from the sky all right it's not going to be just falling from the same point every time it's going to be here there it's going to be random so in order to get <coughs> that um, functionality, the, the random um, falling from random positions functionality, we're going to go ahead and go up to the motion blocks and we're going to um, go down and, and choose the go to x 
and Y positions block there, right? Okay, so right now, <coughs> excuse me, right now um, there are some some numbers already in the fields there under that block. And we're, we're going to um, do something else with that. We're going to go over here to the um, operators um, button and, and those blocks. And operators are um, blocks that receive an input like a number or text and then um, they they uh, return something. So what we're going to do is um, choose the pick random block and we're going to just actually drop it right in there and it should fit, okay? Alright, so um, right now it's saying um, go to X and then pick a random spot on the, the, um, the X axis, alright? So um, let's go ahead and put in, um, we're going to put in a negative number so it's going to randomly um, be positioned somewhere on the the left side of that X and Y axis and then in the other field we're going to type in a positive number you can just choose something random and just do 24 okay so um, that's where it's it's the fish is going to um, line up somewhere here on the horizontal part of the axis and now um, for the the Y for the up and down we need to put a number in for that so let's go ahead and type that and um, we'll we want him to start somewhere on the top of the screen up here when he's he's falling from the sky so I'm gonna just type in um, a random number I'll just do 150 okay so let's go ahead and just click on that and let's see what happens okay do you see how when you click on the, um, the go the go to X and Y random code do you see how he's going all over the place that's good that's what we want Okay, so let's go ahead and do a little bit more, and we're going to go over here to, c to control, and we're going to get a, a repeat block, and we actually want the repeat until block here, repeat until, to bring that out, and we're actually going to put that right down there, and you'll see we have a loop um, here, of course, and then we also have this um, uh, diamond shaped um, that we need to fill in so let's go ahead and repeat until and we're going to go ahead and go back to the operators and we're going to um, choose um, this one here and, and operator and drop it right here and you'll notice that the diamond shape um, is is the same there so that's why we're choosing that one okay and then what what's going to happen here is we're going to um, choose some sensing um, blocks of code next and um, what this is is um, we want the fish to be falling from the sky until um, it, it hits something and then and things then things will, will um, something will change so let's go ahead and choose um, the touching block from the sensing blocks of code there and then you'll see that there is a let's see here scoot over a little bit if you drop on drop down there in the menu there's a couple different options um, and um, we want the, the fish to be dropping until it touches something on the bottom of the screen there so we're going to choose sprite one which is is uh, actually scratchy's name here if you you look over at Scratchy, the Scratchy Sprite. Um, sprite One is is the name there. Okay, so that's why we're choosing Sprite One. <clears throat> and we're going to do one more touching um, block and drop that in here on the other. And things are getting tight here, so I'm just going to scoot over. And then um, from the drop down menu, we're going to choose Edge. Okay, so basically what's happening here is the fish is going to be dropping from the sky until it either hits scratchy or hits the, the bottom edge of the screen. Okay, and then down here we're going to go back up to the motion blocks and um, 
after he falls, if he hits something, we're going to change his, his um, position on the y-axis, the, the, the uh, vertical axis up and down here. So we're going to choose um, change y. Oops. And then we're going to um, have a negative number down because he's going to be somewhere down here on the lower end of, of the y-axis. So we'll type in, um, you can do a minus 10, you can be a random number. So let's go ahead and click on this block of code here and try out our code and see what happens. Okay, so you can just keep clicking there. And the fish is doing, yeah, he's doing a pretty good job. He's, he's randomly f falling from the sky, all right? Cool. <clears throat> all right, so we've created our fall from the sky function here. And as you'll uh, remember, um, once you've created your function and coded it, then you have a block here. There's your little package with all that code in it. Okay, all, all this code that is, okay. All right, so let's see what we have left to do here. Let's go ahead and um, we have the um, the fish sprite selected here, and we're going to go ahead and um, do a little bit more code. And I'm sorry, we're kind of getting tight on space here. I'm going to um, scoot this function down here a little bit, just to make some room. Okay, so let's go ahead and focus on, um, if you remember, um, at the beginning here, the, the fish hides and then the fish uh, appears, right? Hides and appears. So after the fish appears, uh, we want the fish to start falling, right? Now, this game is going to be going on for a while, hopefully, as Scratchy's trying to catch the fish and get a good score, that kind of thing. And we can either do all of this code and have, have it's going to get pretty messy if we have all this code over and over and over again, or we can use the fall from the sky um, function instead. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's click the green flag. Scratchy gives us his message. And then the fish is going to fall from the sky, okay? All right, so so far, um, it's kind of the same thing as what we just saw, right? Not too exciting. So let's make this a little more interesting. So if you look here, um, the the fish is hidden right at the beginning, and then it shows up and it falls, and then once it's down here, we want the fish to, to go away again. So let's go ahead and choose another block here for hide. Okay, so did you see that? Click on this this block of code here, and when the fish gets this message, it's going to show up and it's going to fall and then it's going to disappear again. Okay. Alright, so let's see here. We have a little bit of time left. I think we'll go ahead and, and press on. I know this is quite a bit. So I'd say if if you need a break, you can pause this video and go out and stretch your legs, maybe get a snack, walk around, um, and then come back to this. We're going to do a little bit more, and then we'll have the basic uh, feature here um, for our, our game. All right, so um, the last part of this for today's lesson is going to be um, creating clones of, of uh, this fish sprite, okay? So in order to, to do that, we're going to um, go over here to the events, and we're going to look for a create a clone block here. Oh, I'm sorry. OK, it's actually down here in the, uh, the bottom here. Let's see. 
So go ahead and get the create clone from your control blocks and drag that over. And we're going to actually um, put it, let's see here. I'm going to put it right there. All right. And then we're going to do some more code and we're going to um, do a start clone. And I apologize, this is this is actually we should probably do another working example of this for it to make more sense, just how clones work. But we're already into this now, so I'm going to go ahead and just press on. So um, go from the control button here, go to, oops, go to um, create, um, let's see here. First we're going to want to start a clone. And then we are going to do a wait. Well, I'll tell you what, I think we've done quite a bit today on today's lesson, and I would like to stop here, um, and I want to practice what I preach, and I think this is a good time to take a break, um, since we've done so much, and we've learned how um, to create a function, and we've actually started coding a cool um, game here, and I, I think it's, it's coming together nicely. So let's go ahead and let's wrap up for today. And I want to come back to this next week and we can talk a little bit about how the clone feature um, in, in the blocks works. And then we can actually um, apply it to our game. Okay, so um, for now, let's go ahead and just um, call it a day. And um, next week we will be meeting again um, July 7th, 2 p.m. There'll be a new video uploaded here on our, our uh, YouTube channel for Ada Community Library. And we'll finish up with our, our pro project here um, and, and wrap it up and um, go from there. So um, thanks so much for joining me today. And I hope you guys had fun and, and learned something new. And we did quite a bit. So um, if it didn't all make sense um, or you had some some challenges or some frustrations is perfectly normal uh, I say take a break and come back and, and things will be fine so all right well have a great rest of your week everybody and um, take care